hey my pretties welcome back so today's video is going to be a haul um i actually broke this down into two hauls and i'm going to film them back to back so if you see me again <laughs> looking like this that's what we're doing and um you guys i have been having this stuff i think my camera is crooked i have been having this stuff sitting around for a minute up here in this area and it was driving me crazy so this haul plus all my stuff that i've been picking up for halloween which i've set that up in a whole nother location that's going to be the next video that i film and then on top of some of the finds that i've been finding to do the live stuff that we talked about we're not going to go into that right now but yeah i'm like let me get this over with <laughs> so i could put this stuff away so some of this stuff is oh my goodness what do i have i have target I'm looking at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, I don't know. Yeah, some new stuff from Target. But you guys, I have to say this. I purchased a purse. I know it's not, you know, you know how some things are for some people and then other things are for other people. <laughs> I tend to purchase items that are unique, um, unique to me and some things I just really love and I'm giving a disclaimer on my purse that I purchased. I cannot wait to share that with you guys. I think I'm going to save that for last. Um, however, I purchased this purse and it is so cool. It's a, I'll give you a hint. It's Italian leather. It was from TJ Maxx. I didn't find it in the store. I did purchase it online cause I do, ch I do shop online. Um, and that's all I'm gonna give you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this haul. I'm going to start with these items right here, which came from Target, and it's the beloved items, and it was buy two, get one free. I thought I was gonna love it. I thought I was gonna love it. It's the sweet cream and red velvet. So it's the body cream. It's I got the body spray because it was the buy two, get one free and the shower bath i love stuff that smells super sweet so i'm thinking sweet cream and red velvet that has to smell really really sweet not 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 sweet enough for me so although it's nice it's not i'm not gonna keep these um i i let my daughter smell them and her nose is like mine she was like yeah it doesn't really smell like anything so I'm actually gonna take these back. If you want to try these, which they're not bad, I'm not saying that they're bad, it's just not the, the scent that I like. I will link these down below if they are available so that you guys can try them out if you want to for yourself. There's also a candle too. Okay, we're just gonna bounce around because I have some stuff from everywhere sitting around me. I don't know, I'm just gonna grab stuff. I did get these from Marshalls and it was the cute little hair ties with the little bows. I don't know, I bought them for myself. And this was before I went and got my hair done, even though I still can, um, got my hair braided, even though um, I still can use them. I purchased these, cause you guys know, usually I wear my hair pulled back in a ponytail. I just thought these little bows on the top of my bun would be cute. So I got these at Marshall's for $7. Uh, what else? Okay, let's jump into some of these scents. I was super excited to find this one. And this came from TJ Maxx and this is Mimic and it was the peach one. Uh, it says a blend of peachy fruits, right? Um, I did a video where I showed you guys a lot of uh, perfumes that I had that was um, peach scent. This one reminds me of, what's the one? I can't remember the name of it right now. I'll try to put it on the screen, but it reminded me of that perfume. If you're not able to find this, is it Peach Sunrise? Something like that, I can't remember the name of it. However, I have something in my collection that smells just like this. This one, I know a lot of people were saying they really love it. I'm, gonna, I'm going to keep it. It does smell nice, but it has a um, sort of a, when it dries down, there's like a little bit of like this musk that I don't know if I love. So it's $15. I love Mimic perfumes. Love them, love them, especially the pistachio and all that stuff. So I was happy to find this. I've only seen one and I haven't seen any more. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. But I was telling you guys, in case you are looking for this, 
Uh, the other perfume that hopefully I was able to put on the screen kind of smells just like it. So if you were interested in this and you can't find it, then maybe you can go grab that one. Okay, next up from um, TJ Maxx is this Vanilla Cashmere by St. Cloud. Very, very pretty bottle. It says the notes in this one is vanilla. It says vanilla sweet cream, soft spices, warm woods, and musk. Now, and you guys know I'm always going to be honest with you. It's, this one is not my favorite either. It's not my favorite. I thought I was going to get more vanilla and I was excited by the cashmere scent. You do get that powdery dry down of like that, that warm cashmere. There's a little tiny bit of vanilla. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I, I be, when I'm looking for perfumes, I'm looking for something that's really unique and that really stands out. The vanilla cashmere, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't smell bad. Neither one of them smell bad. I'm definitely going to keep both of them, uh, but yeah it, it won't get used as often now what i will be using really often <laughs> are my favorite things oh my goodness you guys every since i and i've told you guys and i ranted and raved i ranted and raved about um the pistachio dream by sand and fog the body oil <sighs> you guys i don't know I don't know. These next two are contenders. They are contenders. And when I say, if you see these and you like sweet scents, grab them. Because I seen four of these and I grabbed all four. I always get two for me and I'll get two for my, I mean, one of each for me and then the other ones are for my daughter. Um, Cause she always likes the stuff that I like. So, get the pistachio dream you'll love it if you can find it now the next two is lychee dream is that how you say it lychee lychee whatever it is these are 15 dollars. it is a um perfume oil they dry down to where they're dry so they don't keep your skin oily it's not like um when you want to oil your skin and have that shine and stuff it's not like that but let me tell you these stay on you for a while and especially the sweet scents right here oh my goodness i am in love with these if you believed me about that pistachio dream get your hands on these two so lychee dream and sweet apple i just found this one had never seen it before i'm sure it might have been there but you know maybe sold out i don't know i don't care <laughs> these are amazing so the notes on the lychee dream is uh pineapple lemon lychee strawberry vanilla and cedarwood is that how you pronounce it lychee let me let me see hold on i gotta make sure because i feel like i'm saying it wrong let's just check lychee lychee right one more time lychee Lychee. I was saying it right. I just wanted to make sure. Sometimes I like to try to make sure I'm, you know, correct myself and saying it right. Because I know if I don't, somebody going to be, <laughs> one of you guys, <laughs> you know, y'all will correct me. So the Lychee Dream has those notes and the Sweet Apple uh, has Red Apple, Black Currant, Pink Grapefruit, and again with the Lychee in this. You guys, they smell so good. I don't even know out of these two which one I like the best. Oh, so you have the little dropper. You know what this smells like? Oh, it smells like pink lemonade with a little bit of sugar. I don't know. It just smells good and it's long lasting too. I'm sorry if I'm ranting and raving about these, but I love them. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 <laughs> That's all I can say. Mm. Okay, moving on because I have three more perfumes. Um, these I thought I was going to love. However, not so much. And it's the ALT brand. I don't know if it's Alt or ALT. And these were $20. Not, all of this was not bought at the same time. Like I said, this is a collective haul um, from times when I was going to the store showing you guys stuff. And then I would just pick up something here or there. So I did want to try the Peach Smash, which is inspired by Bitter Peach. 
it says the top note is peach blood orange cardamom and um the middle is cognac jasmine rum and divana the base is patchouli sandalwood vanilla cashmere it says cashmere tonka bean vetiver and benzoin so that's the peach one this one is called strawberry milkshake and it was inspired by crybaby milk um I also have the strawberry, what is it called? It's by Mimic. It was the one that was also inspired by that. That one smells good. I was expecting it to have more of a strawberry scent, but it, it didn't. Um, and so the top note on this one is milk, strawberry, forest fruit. The middle is powdery notes. The base is caramel and woody notes. So that's that one. Now this one was a blind buy and I purchased this either on T TJ Maxx website or on um i think it was cj max and this is called eden and it's cacharel or i don't know how you pronounce that this one smells good so the bottle looks like that and i don't know what made me purchase this was it the notes patchouli accords de mimosa oh it says patchouli notes of mimosa and cool fruits for the first time ever encompass the exhilaration of spring with sensuality. Now this one, what I can remember is that it smells, <sighs> let me spray it. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm gonna spray this one on my hand. This is like a, you know, it smelled, you know when you walk into the Lush store, if you guys been into Lush, you know how you walk in and you just smell that sweet, but clean green earthy kind of scent that's what this smells like it kind of smells like soap <laughs> it's like a clean fresh soapy kind of scent i don't know it's spearmint not eucalyptus but more like a spearmint it's really nice i like this one it's it's a odd kind of nice kind of I like it. It's it's I like it. It's different. Um to me that just says summer dress, summer day, spray this and just I don't know. It's like be one with the world. <laughs> I like eating. <laughs> uh yeah, I like that. I haven't worn it all day like put it on completely and worn it, but I'm going to give that a try. But so far I like it. And then the last beauty item um before we jump into the other stuff from target and some of the clothing pieces that i picked up from wherever um i did find this peach duo duo at tj maxx and it's a lip scrub and a lip oil cream and it came in this box and it looks like that and it was ten dollars and i thought the packaging was cute and i said let me get this a try because i love me some lip oils um after i wash my face at night and stuff like that i put my lip oils on before i go to sleep and so the package looks like this very cute and you just pop it off i have not opened it yet so it shows you step one and step two so you i have to peel this film off which i'm gonna wait to do but lip one is i mean Step one is lip scrub and then the lip oil. And it has a little spoon thing in there. Uh, you know, the little applicator or whatnot. So I'm going to give this a try. See if I like it. Most of the time, if I don't like it, you know, sometimes I'll just leave stuff on the counter. And my daughter will come in and swoop it up. <laughs> so that is it for the beauty items. Um, let me get into some of this Target stuff actually no we're not we're not gonna get into the target yet hold on i wanted to show you these uh some clips that i did get at uh tj maxx this was six dollars i love the little spider clips and i just think these will be cute like even if i just wanted to pin one right here in the front or somewhere somewhere in my hair i like these they remind me of betsy johnson and so that's why i got this and you guys we're not going to talk about betsy johnson pieces right now but her halloween stuff i mean well i love all of her stuff a lot of people love betsy johnson and then some people don't like it because it's so 
big and you know just bam in your face type of jewelry that she has especially like her charm bracelets and just stuff but i i like to i don't want to say that i'm a collector of her stuff but i do have a lot of pieces from over the years a uh, little bit of stuff here and there um so i have been picking up some of her stuff lately <sighs> yeah i don't know maybe maybe we'll do a whole nother video with that i don't know unless i just keep it in my collection and when I decide to wear it and show you guys and you guys are like, oh, that's so cute. You know, maybe, maybe that, or maybe y'all be like, oh, that's ugly. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, Bessie Johnson is not for everybody. Her pieces are kind of obnoxious, but I like it. I, I like it. Okay. Let me hurry up. Cause I, I got to get to this purse. Um, I did pick up these clips right here. Cute. $7 for those. Um, Bath and Body Works. Uh, I only picked up, hold on. Oh, I did get a bag, but that's in the next haul with the Halloween stuff. I'll show you guys that. But some, so from Bath and Body Works, I only got these two candles. If I'm not mistaken, they were on sale because I was not in the, I was not trying to buy any candles. I still have some in my collection that I need to burn between them and the Goose Creek and all that. I was like, I don't need any more, but I did want to try these and they smell so good. It's the Brown Sugar Toaster Treat. It says sweet as sugar right here. So that's that container. And then I got pink bubble gum and it says to make me happy. <laughs> and that's the packaging on that one. So the notes for the bubble gum is rainbow gum drops, sugar, vanilla, pink sponge sugar, and it smells like everything it just mentioned. And the brown sugar toaster treat is crumbled crust, gooey brown sugar and sprinkled cinnamon and i got these to try out because yeah i'm happy i got them because they smell good in the jar so back to marshall's before target i picked up this purse um and it is steve madden of course this is not the one that i got for me i chose this for my daughter 30 dollars. i was on the fence about it i was like i don't know if she's gonna like it um i brought it home and she likes it so we like that vintage look with the patches and the different colors and all that. And it's just a cute little Steve Madden bag. You have the top that covers and all that. So Marshall's $30. Okay, so then it's Target. Now, I did get, I went a little overboard with their Halloween cups. You guys know I love cups. But I can't, I can't even give an excuse. I bought all the cups. <laughs> I got this one. And all of these were $5. And this is part of the Hide and Eat collection. So he is super cute. This one right here looks like a cauldron with the stuff bubbling over with the fire at the bottom. I snagged the Grim Reaper. And he's just black on the back. This little guy right here <laughs> with his glasses on. And it's just pink. And this little guy right here, adorable. Love the little ghost on the side and all the stripes around the back of it. And it has like the grooves in it. So it's kind of like ribbed. Very, very cute. There's also this ghost right here holding his little bucket, little pumpkin bucket. It's just white on the back. And then the last two, this one trick or treat in a little cauldron pot. And of course there had to be a black cat, the little black kitty. So that's it for the cups. And then also from the hide and eek, I did get this little throw blanket with the little pumpkins. Um, I'm actually going to be doing some little basket for a friend of mine. Um, so this will go in there, two of the cups and you know, so I don't just buy all this stuff to keep for myself. Sometimes I have things in mind, whether it's my daughter Fam, somebody in my family um, in this case with these cups is, is giving two of them away I'll probably keep two I don't even know I think I'm gonna keep the Grim Reaper and and the, the vampire I think I'm definitely gonna keep those two but yeah whatever else happens <laughs> it just happens also from Target uh, I got the Alden set of pajamas and it was this one right here the little satin pajamas with the cats on it 
So it just has the little button down top and then it also comes with the shorts. So with the little tie on the front. And like I said, these are all then. I uh, can't remember it. It came as a set, so I did get that. I also got this jacket for $25. Um, this is Wild Fable. And it's just like a little track jacket. When I walked in, I don't, they just had it sitting in the front with the like workout stuff. But it's just a regular little black jacket. But what I liked about it was the stripe down the arm. Kind of remind me of like the Adidas stripe. And once it starts to get cool, you know, this could be like my go-to everyday jacket running out the door. Let me grab my black jacket with the stripe down the arm or something like that. So $25, I did get this um, in an extra large. I like it, it's nice and soft too. Now this top right here, I showed you guys in a shorts video. I purchased it because I thought, you know, let me, let me take it home and try it myself. I'm not keeping this top. It is so pretty though. It's just not for me. So it was this one right here, the little halter top. If you've seen that shorts video, you know you know what this is about. And it does come in black. So it does have the buttons at the back of the neck. And it's cute. I put it on and you know, it'll look like that. And this goes around the neck and then you would have your little rose right there. And I think it's really cute. However, the flower to me was just, I don't know when I put it on let me open this so when I had it on like that when I looked down it was just like too much on my chin it's a little too it's a little too big it's a little too much for me so if it came down a little further then I'll probably be like okay that's kind of cute but it literally once you it like goes right there so look my chin is resting on it <laughs> It's really cute though. I'm not gonna keep it. Um, they do have the zipper in the back with the stretchy material. Uh, this is, what did I pick? This is an extra large and it fits. So I feel like it runs, um, eh, not true to size, maybe a little bigger because I usually like to get like a 1X in items for my tops or, or an extra large, but because it's denim, well, you know, it does have stretch. So I guess you could size down actually, to be honest. But um, yeah, this top is going back. I think it's cute. I know a lot of you guys seen it on the shorts and said you liked it. A lot of you guys said you didn't. So I like it, but it's gotta go back. Here's another pajama set that I ordered from, I think I got this from TJ Maxx. And I don't know what it is with these animals and on this satin pajamas, but hey, I thought it was pretty. I love the yellow or the gold and it has more cats on it. <laughs> and I did get this really, really oversized because you guys know satin does not have any stretch to it at all. So I didn't want it to be fitting on me tight or nothing like that. And I like to feel comfortable when I'm walking around the house. Um, that's the back of it. And so I did get this and the matching pants to go with it right here. And it does have the ties in the front. So that's just the pants to it. Just something to, you know, walk around the house, lounge around the house, some PJs. And I can't remember <sighs> where I got this. The brand is Dahlia McPhee. I think this was from, I think it was from TJ Maxx. I think it was TJ Maxx. Like I said, I'll try to link whatever I can down below. We are almost to my purse. We are almost there. Just these last couple items. This top right here, I, I purchased it from Box Lunch. Now, I don't know nothing about Bridgerton. I, I'm just being honest, didn't watch it. You guys have to know, I don't watch TV. <laughs> I don't. I know. I know. I know. I know. Somebody, when I told somebody that in the store, they said, you don't know nothing. You don't watch Housewives of Atlanta? I'm like, I don't know nothing about none of the Housewives. I don't know their names. Only person I know way back in the day, I think I was, I kind of looked at it a couple times when Candy was on there. I don't really watch TV. I know, is that hard to believe? Because I, I just don't. There's no shows that I do. I will tune in to like Amazing Race. That's my show. 
and I will tune in to Equalizer with Queen Latifah when it's in season O and Abbott Elementary. Them is my three shows. Besides that, all I do when I'm like laying around at in the evening time, I watch Sanford and Son, Good Times, like all the old stuff. Martin, I do. I'm I'm that girl. I'm that girl. I don't really keep up with stuff. So I did not watch Bridgerton. I don't know anything about it. I do know that they had some cute stuff. I did buy the slippers that had the bees on it. <laughs> And the only reason why I got this shirt that says Bridgerton is if you know, you know, with the letter B. That's me. <laughs> and um, I do love that it's, I love the font on it and I love that the bottom says family before all. That's what I do know. I know it was something about family and all that on Bridgerton. Excuse me. I know some of you guys is like shocked and appalled like she doesn't know about Bridgerton because I know it's so loved. I just don't know nothing about it. Um, but I do like that B right there. That's what I do like. <laughs> So I purchased this for myself for the fall. I purchased it oversized so it would just kind of fall on me. I like that. And like I said, I think I got this from Box Lunch. Oh yeah, the other things that I watch is the news. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so these three items before we get into this purse, these came recently from Walmart and I had to. I'm not even big on the whole Nightmare Before Christmas. Although I love the Nightmare Before Christmas. I love Beetlejuice. I love certain things, you know. So when I seen these, I was like, I don't need it. But I want it. So I got them. And it was the pajamas. Now, I told you guys in that video I was getting these. Because they have that vintage vibe. That's the one that says Twinkle Tweet on it. And I think these are cute. The little pajama sets. And I knew that these were going to go fast. And of course, I like to have like a size 2X. So I bet if I went back there today or tomorrow, these pajamas would be gone. And they only put like a couple of the, you know, plus size out and they go so fast. So I said, let me get my pajamas. So I did get these and they were, uh, what are they? $16.98 for the set. So I got this one. I had to get the Beetlejuice. I had to. Um yeah i just like beetlejuice and i know that the new movie is coming out right it should be coming out real soon um see i don't even keep up with that uh but when it comes or wherever it is i'm gonna be watching it i will go see that so that's the shorts right there same price and i did get the jack one just because i really like the black and the white with the pop of the purple same purple is on my nails too so I did get that one. I like the black and white stripes. And then that's the shorts to it. Right there. And these are that. It's the stretchy material. So these will be cute. So that is it for everything. Now, you guys ready to see this bag? <laughs> drum roll. Drum roll. I showed everybody in my family and everybody understood why I chose this and everybody loved it. So, I don't know. I don't wanna show you guys. I don't wanna show you. I'ma end the video and then I'll put it on a show. I know y'all like, no, you better, <laughs> you better show me that purse. Okay, okay, okay. So, it's a, it's a camera. <laughs> it's a camera. I like it. It's different, right? So it's that made in Italy. It's that um, is it Pratisi? Uh, Pratisi. I like saying that. It's Pratisi. I wish I could speak French, but anyways, it's that brand. As you can see, you have the little emblem right there, and look at that. It's it is so cute. It's so unique, and you guys know that I film. Oh, that sun is doing a lot. Hold on. So you guys know with me filming and stuff, I'm always carrying around my cameras. I have two, hold on. Okay, the uh, sun was peeking through right here in my eyes. You guys know that I carry around my camera or cameras, cause I carry two with me. Um, and that's like what I do on a daily. So why not have a purse that is leather that, <laughs> 
I'm gonna stop looking at the sun because it keeps coming in when I look at the, the camera I mean yeah on the thing I can see that when it hits my face but anyways why not so this front part opens right here and you can put whatever you want in there Just get a little air pods some change some money I don't know what you want to put in there and this is the back of it you have the zipper and then on the top, it even looks like it has a little camera button. Like, say I was going to snap the button, snap the picture, like, cheese, say cheese. That is so cute right there. And then the inside, I still have the uh, dust bag in there and all of that. You have your zipper. And it's just really cute. The strap, which you guys know that I love guitar straps or the really big straps. So, it's like that. And it does say for TC on it and it would just be right here and hanging off to the side like that it has the feet on the bottom I like it I like it my sons even with all everybody was like mom that's that's tight <laughs> I'm like I know I think so <laughs> so I think I will definitely be able to link this um you know down below in case any of you guys are interested in my purse my camera bag my camera bag i love it so that's it you guys for this haul i took a lot longer than what i expected let me go ahead and wrap this up because i'm going to move on and go film the a haul of halloween stuff that i've been picking up so let oh i forgot to show you guys these i did purchase these when i got the pajamas at walmart the little clips and I know you guys know I got those because of Frankenstein. So that's it. Let me go ahead and wrap this up and go ahead and get into the kitchen area so I can film that video for you. I hope you enjoyed all of this. And I will see you guys real soon in that next video. Okay, bye you guys.